Hey guys, today I'm going to do the CFL predictions video for the um, games Hamilton and Edmonton and Winnipeg and BC. Um, it's going to be like the previews as well, it's not going to be just predictions, so this should be like a 10 to 15 minute video. I don't know exactly, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so first, the records. So I'm just going to say like uh, Edmonton and... Um, Actually, I'll just kind of say it like all at once, just so it's not too long. So BC's record is twelve six and zero, with, and, and they have twenty four points. Win Winnipeg is eleven seven and zero with twenty two points. Edmonton is ten eight and zero with twenty points, and Hamilton is seven eleven and zero with fourteen points. So Hamilton has the worst record out of all these four teams. Their streaks: BC has won three straight games. Winnipeg has won their last game. So one game losing streak, or one game winning streak. Edmonton has won two straight, and Hamilton has lost two straight. So the st statistics, so I'm, I'm going to do Hamilton-Edmonton first. So let me just say whoever wins, if Edmonton wins, then they're going to face Ottawa in Ottawa. They're going to play play the Red Blacks November 20th at 1 o'clock p.m. That's going to be on Sunday, so like next week, so like a week after on Sunday as well. So Hamilton is 3-6-0 and at home because they're going to be playing at home and they've also lost their four games at home. And Edmonton actually won their, their last game or their last time in Hamilton 29-26, although they had a large lead and then they blew it, but then they, the, they still came up with the win, but Hamilton was down by 16 and they made it down to 3 and they lost by 3, so they were unable to finished off the comeback, but they still came back, so that just go goes to show that if Edmonton get gets a 20-point lead, then it's not over yet. I mean, Hamilton can still, like, get back in it. And sorry if I sound, like, always, like, depressed and not, I'm just, you know, I'm just, I don't know, I just don't, like, really, like, smile often. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, like, Hamilton always, like, comes back in every single game, like, makes it close, makes it interesting when it looks like it's over. Like, in the, in the second quarter, it could look like it's over, like, 30 to 20, 30, 30 to 5, or 30 to 10. It's like, it's over. Fourth quarter, it's like 35, 30 for Hamilton. I mean, you, you never know, right? So, I mean, like, don't underestimate, like, the, the Ticats or any football team, especially in the playoffs, and especially if they're playing at home. So they've won. So they've lost their four games at home, and they've lost their last two games that were at Jim Hornets Field that down there, twenty nine to twenty six loss to Edmonton, and then thirty two twenty five to Montreal the recent loss, the last game in week twenty. Edmonton is five four and zero, oh on like away. Um, they've won their last away game twenty nine twenty six in Hamilton, and then Edmonton has won three of four away games, so they're doing pretty good on the road. Um. My prediction, it's hard to say. I mean, like, I'm not really sure, to be honest, because, like, there's, like, I, I honestly have no idea. I mean, like, I know Hamilton comes back, so I know Hamilton can win, but it's, like, really hard to say, like, let me know in the comments who you think will win, because, honestly, I do not even know. I mean, like, it's hard to say because Hamilton comes back in every game, but they could come up short, they could win the game, Edmonton could, could be garbage on that day, and then Ham Hamilton come, could completely dominate. By the way, I'm, I'm going to tech catcher, so... But it's hard to say though. I mean, you never know, right? I mean, I haven't chose on CFL pick them yet. I think I'm gonna choose Hamilton because like Hamilton's the home team, and they know it's a playoff game, and they know if that if they lose, they're out. I mean, even if they win by a by one point, I don't care as long as they win to to move on. Because last year, I remember last year, Hamilton lost in Ottawa, forty five to thirty eight devastating loss because it was 38-38 well actually it was 38-31 for Ottawa and then Hamilton came back to tie at 38-38 but then on first and down on first and 20 or first and 10 for Ottawa I, I ran this clearly first and 10 or first and something it was almost intercepted by Hamilton in Ottawa, Ottawa territory with like I think like a minute or two left so that could have could have been the game right there Hamilton could have just marched it down the field and then won by by a field goal instead it was like second and 25 and they did a long pass, and then it ended up being a touchdown pass. Um, so it's like hard to say. Some players to watch for Hamilton are John Chick, um, Zach Claris, and Brandon Banks. I think those are the three main players, John Chick, Zach Claris, and Brandon Banks. 
because running backs is like really fast and stuff, and then he can bring a pound, pound return back for a touchdown pretty fast. Um, Zacharis is back now. He's been back for like two games now, I think, or three. And he can be on fire, especially during playoff games. So I think I'm going to choose Hamilton more for the CFL pick -em thing, but it's still hard to say. And players to watch for Edmonton are Adarius Bowman, because Adarius Bowman has been really good. Sha Shakir Bell as well, and Mike Riley for sure. I think Mike Riley is just as good as that Claris. I mean, so there's like a bunch of good players that like you have to watch out for. So those are the player players to watch for me. Um, and once again, that game is going to be this Sunday. I didn't think I would do this video till like Saturday or Friday, but then I always end up doing it late, like one in the morning. Like right now, it's only 11, 11 o'clock, so... Um, so my, my prediction is going to be Hamilton 50%. I'm just going to say that for now. 50% Hamilton will win. And you, should guys let, and, you should, and you guys should let me know in the comments who you think will win because honestly, it's going to be a tough game. I'll definitely definitely be, be watching it. It's definitely going to be a killer game. Very entertaining. So, oh, and, all, and also Hamilton is 2-7 and seven against like Western opponents. So, it's... Um, so yeah, my prediction will be Hamilton 50%. Now moving on to the next game is going to be November thirteenth at four thirty p.m. Winnipeg Blue Bombers at BC Lions. So, like I said before, BC has won three straight games, and then Winnipeg has won their last game. So Winnipeg is seven two and zero on the road. They're amazing on the road. Seven two and zero, only two losses in eighteen games. I mean, obviously a lot of them were home games, but seven two and zero is pretty good. So they've won seven of nine away games which is like really like really good but honestly i feel bc will win this game like i already know that bc i, I i'll say 65 percent or like 70 percent that bc will win because bc has been doing like really good and it's going to be at home and i know that they're going to be it's going to be an electric uh, i know it's going to be an, elec an, an electric game so it'll be quite a no-biter but so they won so winnipeg won their last two away games, 35-32 to 32 in BC, not too long ago, and then 33-20 to 20 in Ottawa. So the one in BC doesn't, didn't really matter. I mean, 35-32, the, the that's a pretty close game, so it's going to be pretty close in the, in the playoff game, but I think BC will be able to come, come away with the victory. Um, BC is 6-3-0 oh at home, so they've won 6-9, of nine, which is not that bad. They've won their last two home games, um, and then BC has won three, three, three straight games, so I don't think they'll let this one go. I mean, it's, it's obviously, like, bo both these games are going to be, like, really hard to, like, predict and everything, but, I mean, like, I see BC winning and then Hamilton winning. It's just hard to say because, like, bo both teams can come back, both teams have amazing players. It's, like, really hard to say. I mean, 2-7 and seven against Western opponents, Hamilton, I mean... I don't know, but uh, so whoever play whoever wins in BC, whether it be the Lions or the Blue Bombers, they're gonna play in Calgary against the Stampeders November twentieth at four thirty p.m. So with that same day, um, it's gonna be a hell of a game that one for sure. But first, like I love playoff games because like, they're so like electric. The home base is so like they're alive. Like it's like really they're really entertaining. It's just really hard to say, but. So let me know in the comments who you think will win. Once again, I, I think BC will win like 65 to 70%. Hamilton to 50%. Oh, and also some play players to watch for BC is Chris Rainey for sure. Emmanuel Arsenal for sure. I mean, Chris Rainey can return a punt, return, like, can return it, like, can return it for a touchdown just like Brandon Banks can. So they have really good players. Um, Jonathan Jennings is also really good for BC. This is why I think BC will win. I mean, they're, like, they're at home. Their fans are not going to, like... Their fans are amazing. I mean, I, I think the Ticats have one of the best fans, fans, fans in the league, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah. <clears throat> and some players for Winnipeg to watch out for is Weston Dressler and Andrew Harris. Because bo bo both of those players have been, like, really good this season. And they've been really good, like, recently, I, I'm pretty sure, as well. So I hope you like my preview and my predictions.
please comment down below what you guys think. Like, who do you think will meet in, in the Grey Cup game? And uh, my next video will probably be the Eastern Final and the Western Final. So I'm just going to say good luck to all teams. May, may the best teams win. And then good luck to the teams that play in Calgary and in Ottawa because those are going to be hell of games too. And then the Grey Cup game is obviously going to be amazing in Toronto. That's going to be... But for now, we'll take it one step at a time. So, yeah, I hope you liked this video. My next video will be ne next week. Maybe, I don't know when it will be, but, yeah, I hope, I hope you liked this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.